So here we have a bicycle with leather seat and handlebars, but as you can see they are severely affected with mould. It's been growing all over it and leather being an organic product which may have been treated with organic oils, um, as in like animal oils, um, potentially has a perfect breeding ground for mould. So we're going to show you how to clean that off to make it look a lot better. So first things first, we should just hose this bike down and give it a pretty good wash to get any dust off so we're not going to be damaging the leather when we do rub it with a cloth. So we've just lightly hosed it off, it's still very dirty but really we're just after this seat here and as you can see I'm, I can give it a rub with my finger and the mould starts to come off already. So we can actually just use a cloth and give it a pretty decent rub. Now I must mention as well before I wash this about a week ago I actually sprayed all of this um, the seat and handlebars with vinegar. It was just normal household white vinegar and that actually stopped mold spreading. So it's great to see that I can actually wipe the excess mold on the outside of it off. Now I do need to treat this to be able to make sure the mold doesn't come back anytime soon and I'll do that with a lemon which I'll show you after I've given this a nice clean with this rag and water. So it already looks a thousand times better. Um, I've still got a bit to go rubbing it but that's the majority of it off there on the seat and we'll do the same with the handlebars before we do the lemon. So that's a million times better um, but we've just the rub down with water and the cloth. So now we're ready to treat it with a lemon. You can see close up, if I come around to here, um, there is dark discoloration patches uh, around the seat. If you look at it close up, you'll notice them. Um, from a distance, you wouldn't have a clue. So you could probably be alright with this, but let's get the lemon. So using lemon is good because it's a good cleaner, it's very acidic, but you, if you didn't have a lemon you could probably do the same thing with some more um, vinegar. But you know, if I rub this in, it's good use of a lemon that would otherwise go in the compost bin. This one's a bit old, but perfect for this job. get to get underneath the seat as well. So the thing about mould is the outside part of the mould, the, the furry mossy stuff, is not where the mould is, that's just part of the mould. The rest of the mould is growing inside the leather. So this is the whole idea of this lemon, is to, to really just get it to soak in there and hopefully um, create an acidic barrier for a bad environment for the mould to grow in so it will just die off could use bleach of course but you might not necessarily want those harsh chemicals on your seat so using a lemon creates a nice natural alternative to harsh cleaning chemicals. Now I'm going to let that sit for about 10 minutes, make myself a nice lemon juice drink and come back to it. And there we go, we've let it sit for a few minutes, I've been a bit impatient, um, I've already finished my drink so I'm come back to it. Um, you can see here these dark speckly spots. Hopefully, maybe can zoom in on that. Um, those dark speckly spots in front of my finger now. That's what we want to. Sorry, that's what we want to clean off. So I've got my cloth again, and just to show you how good this actually works. Um, if we look right here again, I just rub them, and just giving this a quick rub and you can see those black spots have now gone from just this area here so I've got to complete that and there's more black spots around here and in the seam um, and just rubbing it down with the same cloth that I used earlier nice and simple like that. and it's coming up perfectly like it's a brand new so that's really good so 
as usual, we'll keep going on with the rest of this. And there we go, with a little bit of lemon, some elbow grease, and a rag, yeah, we've now got our leather looking spick and spam and pretty much unrecognizable from what it was at the beginning of it. And hopefully the lemon will keep the uh, mold at bay and uh, you know this wasn't that bad really it was pretty good quality leather and it was good to do it so if you do this yourself and you clean it all up um, that a lot of people w I haven't really mentioned this on the internet and and this point is really key key I should say don't use animal fat products on your leather because that will encourage the ro the mold to come back again so use some sort of synthetic moisturizer so I'm just giving it a spray with this stuff, Spoden's Level Love. I think this is um, a synthetic stuff because it sprays pretty easily. Um, and I use this on my leather seats in the car, so haven't had any dramas with that, with, with mould. And as you can see, my car lives in the garage, and that's where the bike's stored as well. So what you do with that is the same thing again. You just spray it on and just wipe it around. Cleans up your leather, makes it looking nice and new again. And gives it a little bit of rejuvenation and a little bit of a protectant on there to keep it safe from the the elements and there we go look at that a wonderful bike thanks for sticking around and watching the video give it a thumbs up add your own comments if you have any tips and tricks to add to it and ride safe laters